Today's topic is classical guitar fan bracing and specifically how to notch classical guitar fan bracing so that it fits perfectly over the bridge patch. I'm going to show a quick way of doing this using a bandsaw. Start by cutting into a piece of hardboard or other similar material about an inch. Next, turn that piece around and slide the back side of the blade into the kerf in the hardboard. Slide the hardboard up until the amount of the cutting edge of the saw blade that is exposed is equal to the thickness of your bridge patch. Now clamp this piece to the bandsaw table. I like using spring clamps like the ones I'm using here. Now I take a piece of my fan brace material push it onto the blade and up against the hardboard template that I've made. I like making cuts on what will be the edges of the bridge patch and then I move the piece left to right to remove the waste material in between these first two cuts. I now place this test piece over my bridge patch to make sure I'm cutting the correct depth. If you need to, adjust your template, thus leaving more or less of the blade exposed. Once the bandsaw is set up and cutting at the correct depth, you can now take your fan brace and mark the outer edges of the bridge patch. Cut into these two lines on the bandsaw and then move the fan brace left to right to remove the material in between these first two cuts. With very little effort, you now have a perfectly notched fan brace. If you adjusted the depth of cut correctly on your test piece, the fan brace should fit snugly over your bridge patch. Another way of using this technique is to make cuts on the brace at what would be the outer edges of your bridge patch, and then make several cuts along the brace in between these first two cuts. You can then move the brace left to right to remove the material where the bridge patch will be. Continue marking and then notching each brace and soon you will have braces that will look like they were notched by a professional. 